All right, hey guys, let's uh, let's go live here and uh, start uh, start a new class. Welcome back, everyone, and uh, we'll keep going working along with the project. Um, let me just quickly adjust some stuff. All right, just do uh, tinkering around with the with the sound and everything. Hopefully that's all okay. Coming through loud and clear. And yeah, I've got to remember what we're doing. <laughs> Not making spaceships. This is like a thing I was kind of mucking around in Blender, just doing like a doing a spaceship. But uh, yeah, if you got any questions or things like that, just please uh, please let me know, and uh, we'll get started. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Just going to bring up our Photoshop file. Um, Just going to find all this stuff. Probably should have had this had this open uh, earlier, but you know, Twitch stream. <clears throat> all right, what are we doing? Can't remember. <laughs> That's right. I'm making this no. Is this what we're doing? Ugh. This is not the right one. Uh oh. Oh, it is this one. Okay. All right. I was thinking in my head I was doing a different one, but I didn't do that last week. That's why. So working on this one. Oh, boy. Hey, Bradley. No, you haven't missed anything. I only just started just trying to get my bearings and work out what we're doing. All right. So, <clears throat> yeah, working on this. Uh, yep. Egypt. Egypt. Medieval. I am just going to cut this out and put it on a different screen. So we're going to keep working in Blender for a little bit and sort of working on that whole process there. Um, <clears throat> so kind of like to have the thumbnail up, you know, so we're still trying to trying to kind of like keep, stick to that vibe, right, of what we kind of got going on. So let's open up Blender again. I remember we just started kind of throwing stuff in there and getting it to kind of work. I hope... Like people have been kind of checking out the stream, maybe starting to give Blender a little go. Like I said, just trying to go through this like fairly uh, slowly. Um, one, hold on one second, just here. What is this? Twitch, Twitch. Uh, 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 uh oh. So, yeah. Hey. Hang on. What am I doing? Uh oh. Let's try and find this. Demo the one? Uh,. Don't save. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, where where did I save this? Uh, uh, okay, it was there. Oh, no, weird. Anyway, all right. Maybe I was just blind. <clears throat> Let's just save that again. Anyway, all right. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I just did all the magic. That's right. Everyone just in that last 30 seconds of me fluffing around not knowing what I'm doing. I just did all of the magic, right? <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> let's revisit where this is at.
Mm -hmm. Loading in some textures. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, now I remember I did change something after class, right? And I remember I didn't want to do this. I wanted to make sure everything I did was in these streams. So I changed this texture instead of it being uh, a box. Box in here, right? In my uh, shader editor, right? And then I just make sure this is set to object, not weld. Set here to weld. You know, we're going to be changing stuff to do with the weld but I changed this to um, object and I made sure that I had a selects all the nodes and then hold alt and change that to box so that's where it was at and then I changed that back to flat and I just thought that was kind of like reading a little bit better um, when I kind of went into uh, went into cycles so um, We'll just quickly go into cycles, although none of that really happens quickly. <laughs> it's not too bad, but yeah. So, so this is where we're kind of at here. With uh, we've got some, we've got some kind of ground planes starting to happen with some texture on them. Uh, we've got some of these buildings starting to, you know, happen. Blah 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 blah. Right, so on and so forth. It's pretty, it's uh, pretty uh, rudimentary, right? Uh, but it's just starting to get this kind of like sorted so yeah we're just going to go through and really keep keep uh keep working on this so i guess kind of what's next well i've, I've got this into blender right and kind of got it uh oh <laughs> i can show you guys how to do that sort of yeah actually um so Bradley's got a question in the chat, like it's uh, struggling with um, making a piece or struggling with coloring a grayscale piece. You know, it's actually really hard to do. I, I find that um, it's just way easier just to start in color. If you were going to go from like to from grayscale to color, you kind of need to cut bits and pieces out and just you know, there's a few little tricks you got to do just to kind of get it working. And I try and uh, keep the colors kind of simple if you go for a really well lit uh, saturated kind of color palette it's really really hard to get that from a grayscale image so generally if I do color it from a grayscale image I try and do something like moody kind of very limited color palette that type of thing and it will work like that but yeah if you're trying to really get like you know bright yellows and warms colors and stuff there's a few little tricks you got to kind of do you can do it you just need to keep things kind of separated a little bit but yeah anyway um so <clears throat> i'm kind of half um stalling so i can think about like what's what's going to be good to kind of do next all right so there's a whole bunch of processes i kind of want to show um they all take varying degrees of of work so kind of looking at the thumbnail i really want this to feel like a city so i think that we might kind of uh maybe even start using some of like jammers um kind of like randomize uh kind of techniques for for various bits and pieces so yeah we can do that and it's just going to take a bit of setup and blender and we're going to have to probably even go back to 3d code just go back to designing and getting like kind of all the buildings that i want so i guess if i go back into photoshop uh you can also see here that um other one hang on uh oh what have, I, what have i done what have i done let's close this one down because it's a different project um so we can go back in here and see like I want some tall buildings I want some big giant you know like Egyptian pyramid ish type structures um, yeah we want all sorts of bits and pieces so I'm probably going to do a mix of like some modeling in 3d code some modeling in blender because uh, I haven't really showed you guys that stuff either so we could like yeah do a bit of kind of yeah basic modeling in blender I might show sure um, I'll show you guys this. Here's like a little project that I just did on the uh, save. I was working on a, actually, I'll show you this full kind of process. So I've just got to work this out here. Stuff folder, folder. So while that's loading, let's load up Photoshop and I'm just going to load up. <clears throat> we can like you know with these twitch streams 
Uh, yeah, I'd love to. I want to go through like, um, yeah, Bradley, please send it over. Simon at cwstudios.com. I'd love to uh, help you out. Um, <clears throat> through these Twitch streams, like there's so much stuff I'd love to, over the year or whatever, kind of go over and show. And yeah, I don't know how to kind of format it so we can, yeah, there's so much stuff, so much stuff to do, so much art. <laughs> um, all right. So I just want to go back onto my other hard drive here. And, and let's try and find this one here. So <clears throat> this is a bit of a process I've got in um, in classes here at CDW where we kind of like I show students how to kind of design spaceships. Um, I just start this with just the exact same process that I showed you guys for this where like we kind of start with, you know, just I started just drawing out these thumbnails, right? Just drew them out, line tool, and then kind of, well, whoops. Then I kind of went through and started like doing, you know, these kind of like line work sort of drawings. So this started out the exact same way with just line work. I used the symmetry tool, the same, the same thing. Oh, um, just send it here, Bradley. Oh my God. Why is everything so hard? 104 point. <laughs> I just want to be black. So I'm at cwstudios.com. <laughs> just my email address. Yeah, send it there. Love to check it out, right? Um, yeah, so uh, I kind of go through this process where, like, I use the symmetry tool, same sort of thing, just drawing up all the little details and things like well not even with the details just drawing out the basic shapes and stuff right and then i kind of with this one here specifically i then started using photos of bits of car parts of planes all sorts of stuff and just start kind of mushing it on the on the um over the the line work and have flat tone and color and yeah and and then just refining design and with this here it's all about really trying to come up with fun interesting shapes really push the design and make something like a little bit more unique than you would sort of generally do when you're just kind of like drawing out you know spaceship like you know like if you're just trying to I'm quick, not sure sort of I understand. Oh, siri sorry <laughs> you know if you're just sort of trying to draw the spaceship out you know in sort of three-quarter view and you know doing all this stuff and blah blah and blasters and you know whatever whatever it is right like sometimes it's very hard to design when you're doing this because you're so worried about the drawing the the three-dimensional nature of the the drawing side of things so one of the little ways i show students to do this kind of stuff is like let's just do it flat let's turn symmetry on and let's just try and really push the shapes and the design of of this spaceship right and in my head i'm like well then that would translate really well to like a simple 3d you know model that then you could you could then take and then paint over that so i did this one ages ago and on the weekend i was kind of like you know what it'd be really cool like i've just been learning a bit more blender i kind of wanted to get into a bit more of like modeling just um yep so it's great doing these streams because every now and then i'm like oh shit like I've, i just need to learn how to model this thing right so um and, and i'm like okay let's just practice that so then i'll try and practice it so i took that into blender and let's hope this works hey there we go so um yeah so basically just taking that and kind of like yeah just modeling modeling all this stuff up and really kind of like getting lost in some of the details and stuff but really trying to capture um like what i had in the concept so yeah really trying to get that this feel to kind of come across there's some bits here i still like this is not finished so I'm still tr still sort of working on it. Yeah, it's not finished. I'll bring this up in like, so this is actually in Eevee, uh, kind of like a different way of doing things. Um, and I just downloaded recently the um, this uh, uh, physical atmosphere in Starlight, I think it's called, uh, kind of um, plugin that's really cool for lighting so i guess for some people it's a bit expensive like i think it's 35 dollars something around that 
region but basically you can click a button and it does the lighting for you <laughs> so it's it's pretty cool it's, it's pretty tasty and you can kind of have you can see they've kind of got like atmosphere so if i zoom out kind of like whee, fades off into the fog but yeah you just sort of have a little bit of that kind of around the place and got my little guy in there for scale but yeah so basically yeah just showing like another little project that i've kind of been working on yep like i said not quite finished and i want to kind of uh i wanted to make this like i really like some of the star citizen um like kind of concept shots you see with the like spaceship and the in the hangar and all that kind of stuff so i kind of wanted to make like an interior for this and everything as well and light it in an interior kind of setup and things so yeah hopefully i can get around to that but yeah so anyway we're going to take some of these principles as well and kind of get into blender and just yeah just work on that but it looks pretty cool get a pretty good result i would say that's like a day and a half of fluffing around there's lots of there's some things i didn't know how to do so it takes ages there's different ways of doing stuff now where i've kind of learnt that i'm like oh wow that would be way faster to do it like that so i'd, I'd be hoping that i could get sort of something like this done in a day but yeah obviously this this part happens pretty quick and then yeah translating that into 3d and then i could do all sorts of things i could use this as like a paint over so get in paint out you know because some of these details i'm like not specifically super duper worried about like all the yeah i really want to get all the decals and stuff on and i'm sure there's like tutorials you can find where you can add on decals and do all that stuff or i could just do it in photoshop because probably really i'm never going to have i don't know i'll say that it'd be cool to make a 3d turnaround right do something anyway whatever but maybe i will work out how to do decals in <laughs> in blender i'm sure it's not hard um yeah so anyway it's pretty cool so yeah you can do stuff like that anyway all right that was my little sidetrack sidetrack don't save <clears throat> just sort of show you that just the same process that we're doing now right so this you don't even have to be doing an environment you can do whatever right you can do a character i know that like one of our students jonathan here at the moment he's like uh he's been doing some characters in blender and they look really cool they're, they're awesome um, so yeah, you could push it to vehicles, characters, you know, creatures, whatever, whatever you can do, whatever. So yeah, I'm just trying to show you these techniques and, you know, kind of have a, a project that we can kind of work on. So, all right, let's get back to this enough rabbiting on. All right. What am I going to do? I don't know. <laughs> I need to make some buildings. <laughs> all I really got is like one, one building. I've got some components of others. So yeah, we need really need to make a nice like kind of consistent set of buildings i think so it's probably going to take a little bit of legwork but once we do that what i'm going to do is i'll show you another thing <laughs> so we'll show and tell today isn't it um don't save i was doing like a sci-fi this was like really rough but this will give you a good idea as well hang on um uh did i even save this i don't even know if i saved it Let's see oh yeah so i did i made this on the weekend as well <laughs> uh i was busy anyway this lighting and everything's all kind of horrible But yeah anyway so <clears throat> and kind of do lots of like sort of random building stuff with this so yeah essentially i want to do the same thing but with a, an egyptian you know our, our medieval with egyptian style stuff so i'm thinking lots of kind of castle parts you know egyptian parts scaffolding so it looks like stuff's kind of in construction um we might even get into doing some kind of like little cloth sims for different like tarps and flags and yeah all that kind of stuff so we can do all, all of that stuff so yeah we'll just without further ado let's just actually do it hey instead of talking about it <laughs> i'm just wasting time uh all right yeah just it's actually like when you when you have all these components it's like not that difficult to do so um 
All right. I think that there'll be some bits that I'll do in Blender and some bits that I'm going to do in 3D Code. So I'm just in my head, I'm sort of trying to work that out. So what do we need to do here? Um, no. Oh, wrong. <laughs> Oops, I meant to close. No. All right. <clears throat> so let's get back into here. I think the best place to start is going to be kind of drawing some of this stuff yeah this photoshop file is disgrace absolute disgrace all right <clears throat> so i guess i've got quite a lot of these components that i can use here maybe we just do a little bit of muck around in 3d coat first want to make some kind of like castle you know like a god I'm not making this photoshop file any better that's for sure but you know just some pretty generic like you know castle boop, 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 you know <laughs> those kind of walls right want to do some of those as well as some of the egyptian stuff so yeah i might just let's just quickly kind of mock up some of this stuff so um <laughs> yeah, show and tell. Um, yeah, so Sunny, we're going to do some procedural stuff. That's what I'm doing now. So I'm going to kind of like set that all up so we can we can do. Um, yeah, well, maybe not. I, I don't even know if you need to go down the procedural route. Like, yeah, I'll show you anyway. Show you how you can do it. Pretty easy. Um, oh, God, now I just need to find all this oh, far out. wrong folder wrong folders no wrong Ugh. sorry on my other screen <laughs> uh stream number one three to go here we go Sorry, loading up, loading, loading, loading. No, no, it's okay. You don't have to be sorry, Sunny. No question ever too silly. <clears throat> We're going to do, yeah, so I really plan to do um, tons of stuff, you know, throughout this, the, this Twitch stream. So we're going to work on like, we're going to build, so I guess like, if we go back to sorry keep getting sidetracked but it's okay um if we go back to here it's like th there is so much stuff in here that we're going to kind of work on so we're going to work on like kind of rocks and stuff that we can have kind of individually um i imagine that this is rock with mixed with some plants and things so we're going to have some greenery so i'm going to show you guys like how you can use like hair particle systems that you can scatter uh, foliage and plants and everything around we're going to work on like layering that stuff up and how you can create different kind of particle systems um, yeah we're gonna like I really want to have this scale that this is a huge like kind of bustling city with all this kind of stuff going on probably need like a big statue thing so we're going to kind of work out that um, some trees um, to be honest at the moment I'm not really sure how to do trees so that's going to be cool because i think that over the next couple of weeks i'll i'll work that out um i actually saw today a student had done like a really cool 3d shot and i think they use speed tree for some for a lot of their their trees um so we may even kind of get into that we'll just just see where it goes and just try and do all these techniques to make this like look as epic as possible um okay so Without further ado, let's get into that. Now I just need to just close down my little reference file here. Um, let's drag this one across to my other screen so I can look at <clears throat> some of these other buildings. Um, what I'm going to do is sort of think about uh, like 
do I need to, can I just make these bits in Blender or do I kind of make them in 3D coat? So if they're going to be like stencil kind of pieces, then I'll tend to make them in 3D coat. If they're just going to be basic geometry sort of modeling, then we can kind of do that in, in Blender. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm just going to have a look here. And what I might do is um, I'm just going to save as... Um, sort of save this out. I'm just going to call this one uh, building. All right, and just have a think about what I kind of want to do here. Okay, so I'm just going to, I'm going to hide a bunch of this stuff. Uh, let's just do that. So I'm thinking I sort of wanted like this, heart, you know, like a different kind of version of this one. So. Just go spacebar pose the E. Let's go here. Oh, need to be on the right layer. It's freaking out. Don't know why. <laughs> Oops. Oh, no. Edit. Undo. Don't hit the, the V bit. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm a bit under the weather as well at the moment, so I uh, excuse me for kind of coughing and spluttering and doing whatever else. So I'm just going to make a few little random pieces here. Um, Yeah, I might make one like this and let's go space bar cut off. So one don't have depth limit on. So I was just thinking this kind of has a bit more of that temple feeling at the back. Something like that. Maybe space bar pose. Remember, guys, if, if any of you are new here, um, yeah, w watch back the, the previous weeks and that will go through all of these techniques that I'm doing. Glue selection, spacebar, cutoff. So I think it's really great just to be comfortable with all different programs, right? Cool. So let's kind of get in here and just design this a little bit. Cut off. Uh, let's turn symmetry on. Try and design out some of these shapes a little bit. Uh, build, build. Tell my brain doesn't work sometimes when I'm going from one one piece of software to the next. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard to remember all the bits. Oh, 
Oh, let's do that kind of inset. I do. I do. Okay. Hold down control. So we're like 3D coat can be super powerful. Like I'm doing this stuff in Blender, it kind of takes ages. Because I was doing that with some of that spaceship stuff I was doing. I was doing some of those things, right? Some of this kind of stuff, but uh, I think this is like some things are way faster. Other things better in Blender, so it's just working out your process. And it's, like I said, I think that's what I want to show you guys through the stream is like, yeah, you don't have to, don't have to stick to one thing. You can use all sorts of different stuff and just really, oh, that was turn symmetry off there, hey. Uh, S, we just want to turn off. Oops. Come on. Just want to turn that one off. Nope, other one. Uh, whoops. Oh. Stop. Turn that one off. Okay. Uh, drop. Yeah, so just be good. Like, I was talking to students about this the other day. Is like, just be a good learner. Like. Be good at kind of uh, jumping on to um, oh, saving, auto save apparently. Maybe. Did we crash? Uh oh. Now we're back. All right. So, yeah, be good at kind of like getting on YouTube and, you know, getting Gumroads, learning different tutorials and methods, and checking out stuff on ArtStation and seeing what other people are doing and working on, and just don't use it as like, um, don't look at someone's stuff and use it as like, oh, this makes me cry <laughs> and want to not want to not work on art anymore, right? Like, use that as motivation to just learn and get better and develop as an artist. It's hard. Everyone, everyone always looks at other people's stuff and has a moments of self doubt. That's me whenever I look at Craig Mullins' work. <laughs> it's like, oh man, he's so good. And I'm so crap. <laughs> so yeah, everyone has those feelings of self-doubt, right? So just don't stress, just use it as like motivation. Get um yeah I'm just wondering do I want to have some stencils in here um maybe something just small Build. Oh, wrong. Don't move. Don't move you. Nope. 
this. Oh. No. Right, just stenciling some of this stuff in quickly. On like a weird angle here as well, so it's kind of doing that one but twice. So I shouldn't have to do that again. It's one, all right. Let's close. I do probably some of this stuff, like some of these windows and things, would be probably easy to do in Blender, but we're just gonna do them here because we're just here at the time being. Let's cut off a all right. A, let's make this like 15. Two. Oh. Yeah, zoom in a little bit. Try and get a bit neater with some of this stuff. Ah. Oh, <laughs> got a weird symmetry thing there. Oops. No. Yeah, that's right, Bradley. So just, yeah, always remember other artists, lots of years of practice. Yep, it is hard though sometimes. It's hard to remember that stuff. Let's not do that. Let's symmetry, turn that one back on. Uh oh, no, let's not do that. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, whatever. Don't do that anyway. I'm just getting into stupid details. This is so far away. It's not going to make any difference anyway. All right, so now I've got like a slightly different other shape for some of those buildings. Um, hmm. What else? I reckon I can make a bunch of other stuff. <clears throat> in blender all right so let's try that so i think that'll do this will give me a different shape and then i'm going to build up some other things quickly i'll show you how we're going to do this so um let's just go uh, but, uh, uh, um hey bradley your psd is fine or just jpeg just jpeg totally fine screenshot <laughs> just send me a print screen whatever um all right so I just want to be on that layer and export selected objects. Let's call this like building two. Save, hopefully this comes up. We're gonna make this like 99. All right, okay. Then we've got another building here. All right, um, ch -ch 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 -ch. let's go back to Blender. Actually, let's just, just want to save that. <clears throat> All right, back in Blender. Here we go. I'm just going to turn this big shadow cube thing off. Just that's getting in the way there. Oops. Cube. Was that the right one? No, it was that one. Hey, there we go. All right. Now I've got this stuff kind of looking a bit better. All right, let's go add in file. Um, what are we doing? Import OBJ. God. Wow. 
coat exports where was it building two right this one here we go import this guy in massive <laughs> scale it down scale 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 that guy down all right remember control a and we change the scale there should we reset it hang on yep there we go that did yep cool all right <clears throat> so now i've got like sort of a different a different piece here which is cool and now i'm going to go through and like what I'm going to do here is just, uh, I want to hide, I'm going to hide all of these. Let's, um, I'm going to put this in a collection. So all of these little landscape pieces, I'm just going to select them all, uh, right click, uh, not there, on here, in your kind of viewport and move to collection. Uh, what just happened? Right click, move to collection. Yep new collection let's just call this uh, landscapes okay and then what will happen is this will make a new collection right sort of little file thing there it's like a group in Photoshop right so but then basically what I can do is I can just boop, just you know tick the little box there the little triangle and it will just hide all those layers and then I can just boop, hide them all right so that's really cool and then what I'm going to do here is just for kind of ease sake, we're going to start trying to organize a bit of this stuff <laughs> um, a little bit. But let's kind of go back a step where we're not worrying about all the other landscapey business. We're just worrying about the about this this stuff here. Sorry, I just wanted to get that. On a plane um, you can hide stuff by hitting H you can also just click the little icon here and that'll, that'll hide things right and then you unhide everything by pressing alt H all right so that's pretty cool as well all right so we don't need that cube either just gonna pull this down so we can just see what's going on here all right let's put this into the ground all good all good I'll show another way of kind of like sort of resetting your kind of gizmos and things if you just like shift right click shift right click will change that um, 3d cursor and then basically you can just right click and go set origin to 3d cursor and it will kind of set it to that light point uh, we kind of want to have this set to all the bottoms of stuff because um, why <laughs> Uh, because when we kind of go to randomize all the stuff, it'll kind of help with some, with some stuff, some stuff. All right. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Let's, um, let's make some more buildings. Hey, so if you hit shift D that will duplicate, then I hit escape. And when you hit escape, it will just kind of like make it stay, <laughs> stay, stay where you are. Then I can just kind of move it across, right? Oops. Uh, so if I hit Shift, uh, sorry, yeah, Shift right click, that'll put that 3D cursor there. Then basically, uh, the the view will kind of rotate around that 3D cursor. Should normally, it's not. Oh god, sometimes, 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 sometimes. Uh. Ooh, can't remember anyway don't really matter not that big a deal uh all right so i was just looking at making some other little buildings here or just having some other pieces um you'll see this will make sense pretty soon um let's go let's make a couple of things with this i want to make some uh some like medieval city wall you know stuff walkways blah 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 so on and so forth um so let's do that one let's stick this up here and shift d and make another one and i want to make like a skinny one oops skinny and we can we can kind of do this a few different ways but 
I just want to make sure that they're these are kind of different <clears throat> starting off different they're going to get even more different soon share some really cool techniques for like randomizing all this stuff okay let's get in here this is going to be pretty easy um, I'm going to hit tab so basically tab will put you into edit mode in blender so yeah like like i said each way we're just going to go through more stuff and hopefully it's not, not too many too many crazy principles stacked up on top of each other in edit mode that's kind of where you can basically like you know box model i suppose thinking about some other older term, terminologies where you can kind of like model stuff so when you're in object mode you hit tab object mode and that's like moving the whole thing around when you're in hit tab in edit mode that's when you kind of like can you know just do various uh modeling to this so i'm just going to right click subdivide all right right click subdivide i right click subdivide right click subdivide and maybe one more subdivide uh yeah cool because we need these things to be kind of big so this is going to be annoying now uh i know there's a way uh let's try uh no that's not going to work anyway because I, I i know there's a way where you can oops let's not do that uh <clears throat> sorry i was trying i know there's a way where you can kind of like uh just checkerboard select which is kind of what i want to do but it's not quite going to work because i don't want to have the whole like edge loop anyway whatever <laughs> so i just i just subdivided this and then we're going to go through a little bit painful just go through oh good the world's crappest mouse here as well like a five dollar mouse <laughs> it's not so good probably faster ways to do this some of you are probably watching going like why anyway just want to select all these bad boys we're gonna make castle walls <laughs> you guys can all see this where this is going i think i've told this story before but some of you may not have heard it is that when um when i was a kid well recently my mum found like a sketchbook that i had from when i was like five years old and it had pretty much was just filled with castles so for like 40 years pretty much haven't stopped drawing castles <laughs> oh well it's cool get to do it for a job now right <laughs> need that one last guy come on yes all right so <laughs> now i've got all those selected pretty easy we can just hit e bup, 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 and we just drag those guys up to our heart's content all right but i kind of want them the size of like a person you know so they're, they're that kind of size and then i guess uh Why is that not rotating around there? I'm not really sure. Anyway. <clears throat> uh, what's that one? Nope. Uh, yep. Just want the top here. Boop, 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 boop. Zoom in a bit. And I just want to drop. Let's go there. There. That. Yep. Cool. Oh, 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 oh. Navigating. 
when seeing it's massive. <laughs> and then I'm just going to E, hit E, and move that down, right? And just sort of drop it down a bit. So it's got a bit of a bit of an offset there, just like that. Cool. All right, and now we're starting to get like a bit of a medieval kind of wall. And I guess we could do a similar thing where like, you know, so I'm showing you guys how you can sort of do this stuff in like Blender and 3D Co, right? So if I click one of these guys here and hold Alt and select another one over here. Oh, no. Oh, I never know how to actually get this working the way I want it to. There we go. So you hold, you click one box and hold Alt and click another one and it will select kind of like that edge loop all the way around. Um, yeah, so now what I want to do is just, I'm going to hit S, a scale, and just, yeah, we can make that a little bit bigger. Maybe we can even like extrude it. Mm, nah, it's not going to work. But yeah, that's cool. So they're just kind of like, yeah, doing kind of similar things that we we're doing. Uh, let's try another. Let's go like Alt. Maybe like this. I never know how how to do the horizontal or vertical one. Yeah. It's like just does it sort of randomly? I'm not really sure. Maybe someone's got the answer here. Anyway, there we go. We got there. <laughs> I'm gonna hit I. I on the keyboard. Alright, we'll kind of like inset things a bit so we can get like a smaller edge loop in there. Ooh. And then we can be like uh, extrude out of that. Oh, no, extrude's not going to work. Uh, S. Scale it out. There we go. So now we've got another little, little you know, brick thingy, thingy majingy. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> so maybe try uh, Alt. Yeah. Yeah, let's get that popping out a little bit more. Whoa, cool. Now we're, you know, amazing. Based on the edge you're closest to. Yeah, so what? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, like as in just literally where I click it. Oh, God, really? Okay. Uh, good to know. Good to know. <clears throat> All right. Um, let's do this one here. Uh, subdivide, 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 subdivide. Oh. Okay. Oh, I'm just thinking about having some like, thick ones. All right, so uh, I can show you how to fix this, right? So these are like kind of rectangular, which is not ideal. All right, so um, there's a couple of different ways we can do this, but we'll just maybe do this to each one. So Control R, we'll add in like another edge loop. So, so we just whoop, control R at the end. At the end, it's adding into the middle. It's, um, Oh, it's doing uh, like kind of a rectangular subdivide because I stretched the box, right? So that's why it's not making them square. So yeah, I could have maybe done this process at the start. But anyway, whatever. Wait, not going to take very long. This one. Yeah, so 
Night Terrors did I scale box in edit mode or object mode? Probably object mode, that's why it's that is why it's not uh that's why it's doing like kind of uh not making those things square. Anyway, we're all good. Uh so I want to go back to face. So that was control R. Control R and then what's cool is like you can do stuff like this, right? Um Let's like zoom in here for a second. Just whoa, well, just bear with me. Where'd you go? Show you this because it's pretty cool. Oh, wrong buttons. Press the right button, please. Uh, so if we go here, go Control R and add in like an edge loop. If you use your um, scroll wheel on your mouse, you can add in more. So you just go whoa, and you can go crazy. Pretty cool. So yeah, you can do that too, which is great. All right. Like I said, there's probably a better way of doing this. In Blender, there's all like there's kind of there's always like shortcuts for everything, and kind of more uh, like automated ways of doing everything. It's great. So like the more you learn, the faster you kind of get. Just go through, select all these guys, do this a little bit quicker. Oops. Just making those, I'm just thinking about kind of making those corner pieces sort of bigger and a couple of bigger ones everywhere around the place. So sort of nice little design change there, do things like that, you know, it's all good. All right, let's hit extrude. Try and get the scale kind of pretty similar to the one up the top. Uh, <clears throat> go back here and you can use like your number pad and stuff. So like one, we'll do the side and that side. For so I'm pressing like the different numbers on my number pad, right? And like, yeah, seven's kind of top there. So you can use those as well, as well as this little gizmo over here. You can use this too. And what's kind of nice with that gizmo is that if you uh, like kind of scroll around, right, and you kind of be like, okay, well I want to view this this one here. You can see that it starts getting closer on this gizmo, so you know that it's this green one here, right? The other side of that wire so you just click that and it'll be like oh cool that's you know that side on version and as we go around you can see the z is going to be the top <laughs> does that make sense so yeah that's kind of useful as well so once again i just want to deselect here and select that guy like that and we're just going to extrude that downwards a little bit all right, let's hit tab, go out, and then kind of just wanted to oh, go back and add. Okay, that one. And what did we do last time? Wanted to wanted to do an inset here and then scale whoa 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 see so yeah, escape all right new follower hey welcome all right cool and I think for that one, that will, that will kind of do. Oh, maybe we'll do like one, kind of like down here. Still don't know what I'm doing with this. <laughs> ah. Hey. I oh, go the other way, please. Come on, mouse. Oh. 
All right, just a little guy there. That's cool. Hit tab. We're just starting to get some of these other little pieces, right? So it's pretty cool. Let's um, let's do a duplicate of this one. Shift D, escape, and then I can just oh, hang on. We want to have shift. Actually, you know what? I'll show you another way. If you just set origin to center mass of volume. Um, okay, what did I just do? Let's just undo that. <laughs> Open in. What did I do? Why? Where did my cursor go? View. Uh oh. Now I need help. <laughs> <laughs> what on earth did I do? Uh, no. Oh yeah, the checker deselect. Awesome, cool. All right. So, does anyone know what I press now? I need some. I need some Twitch stream help. Lost my like moving gizmos. What did I do? I went to just duplicate it. Know what I did? Uh, yeah, that's right, Sonny. Do you know how I bring that back up? What's that? I mean, I can, you know, do this sort of stuff, but yeah. Control space, control space. Nah. Oh, do you know Nathan? Control. <laughs> I'm sure I must have hit like, uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, gotta work with hotkeys. Good luck with that. I'm not that much of a Blender pro. <laughs> Control space just gets rid of everything. Uh, might have to do a restart, eh? best best way of doing things <laughs> just restart uh oh someone's getting getting in trouble for doing stuff you're probably just <laughs> you're just putting in the keys that i'm meant to be pressing uh all right uh let's just go save as Do you know the keys, Night Terrors, or the, the shortcut or whatever? <laughs> yeah, whatever, we'll just do a... Let's just do that. Uh-oh. They're gone. 
they are actually gone. What did I press? Uh, yeah, no, I just want to, like, surely you can just display it. Transform. Oh, no. Uh, I'm going to turn something else off in a minute. <laughs> Whatever, I'll just keep going. I'll keep going until somebody gives me some help. Because oh no, we're back. Okay, that's that's when random. Whoa. Okay. I don't know what happened. Anyway, shh. Let's not jinx it. All right. <clears throat> what was I doing? Uh, yeah, okay. So I was duplicating this one. Um, and let's grab some of these pillars. Uh, Shift D. Escape. All right. So these, these columns. Sometimes like, I'll just grab them, sometimes I'll sort of duplicate them, you know, so on and so forth, you can do whatever, but basically, yeah, just want to get, just want to get some of these guys in here. Maybe they just sit just under here, just one of the corners. Let's tuck that in. Nope, too far. Yes. All right, Shift D, Escape, because then I can just drag that across on the exact same line there. So maybe just line that up a bit. Select both of them, shift to select both of them, shift D, escape, spin that around, move them over there. It's in there somewhere, that's cool. And this one, maybe let's shift, shift. D. You can do so. What you can do, right, is like there's a little shortcut you can do. So if I undo that, actually, just Alt D will make it an instance, which will kind of be, um, uh, yeah, maybe I did. I don't know if I clicked on the show hide overlays, but they just came back, so I'm not sure. Um, <clears throat> so you can use Alt D instead of Shift D, and that'll make an instance of like this column or whether, which is really cool, right? So, um, so we might just delete this one, and if I go um, Alt D, and then I move this across, right? Hold middle mouse and that'll slide it across on the red axis, which is great. So I can move that to a desired distance apart from that one. Just click. And then if I go um, Shift R, that'll basically like do the same step again. So then you can just boom, 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 boom. Yay, except it doesn't line up. <laughs> it's all good. Undo. Undo the last one. And then we'll just move these. Oops. But that's pretty cool, eh? So Alt D and then Shift R. Anyway, it's pretty cool. No one's gonna wear it up. Oh, just... 
All right, and then what I might do is like, just get rid of that one and get rid of that one. Set these. Alt D. Escape. Drag those across. Yay. Let's grab this one. Alt D. Middle mouse. Click. Shift R. Okay, so what I want to do is, uh, what I'm sort of working on now is trying to create a whole bunch of little building sets that kind of have all little pieces to them. Um, and then what I can do is we can start kind of like randomizing them and building like a whole city out of this. So once again, kind of like everything we've done so far. So D, um, it's kind of like everything we've done so far where it, it will take a little while to set up but once you kind of get it going, it'll it'll be really fast, which is awesome. So yeah, so just trying to make some of these pieces here. That's cool. All right, let's like grab this whole row. Uh, once again, let's maybe just do it this Shift D duplicate All right have this one these guys let's bring them over there get them on the ground Kind of tuck them in a bit. Just gonna move this one across. So there. Let's grab all these guys. Move them into the middle. Somewhere in the middle. Probably just get another one in here, I reckon. Probably look better. All right, cool. Now I'm just sort of like, mm, they probably, for me, I think it's going to look better if all these things kind of just fit. Get these ones right, and then we can just flip them all around. Uh, I'm just gonna hit. What am I gonna do? Let's just transform the scale of these a little bit. Just so they sit under there a little bit more. That will kind of look cooler. Move them through. Let's 
we can put some cool stone textures and all of this kind of stuff but yeah just making some various pieces here all right <clears throat> that's cool what I'm gonna do here is just duplicate this one too and replace this one over here so shift D escape so I just want that one there Oops. Wrong. Yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. Where'd this one go? I'm just gonna move this down a bit. Cool. About right. Let's just get rid of that one. Get rid of that old one, and now we've just got that extra kind of shape to this which is pretty cool but now we just need to get like these little tower bits here sort of probably just making a bit more sense how we're going to connect these um let's see if we can't just kind of like jam them into this but uh, just in a way that kind of makes a bit of sense Just have a little bit of overlap there Oh, where'd I go? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Might even just delete that one Just duplicate Alt D both down a touch just so they fit in there a little bit better should probably save hey delete those guys that one and that one Oop, no, hang on. Don't you get that? Yep, I did. Delete those. Hold eight. These down here. All right, that's cool. So it's done to get yeah some of that kind of architectural stuff going on now the other thing that i'm probably going to have to do at some point is kind of like split some of this stuff up so um so that i can get like some you know with this because at the moment this is all just stone remember but however i'm not going to do that this week but i will do it in the stream it would take a little while right so i'm gonna show you how i'm kind of gonna do that but for right now let's just kind of get into some of this like randomizing stuff so you guys can have a play with it if you kind of want to um so what else i've got that um i'm just gonna do one i just want to do one other little building right with um with this This guy here. Oh, I do wrong. So move you across there, and let's just add some columns. Might even just transform this around a little bit. Oops, wrong. You move. Oh, yep. Okay. Something like that. uh let's just grab this i don't want to have it all just all the same everywhere so alt d escape smooth guys around 
get your gunner in there. Cool. See them like into the wall a little bit here. All right, now I'm just going to spread these guys out a touch. Yeah. All right, so I just want to have that it's still kind of on the wall there. All right, let's grab this one. It's on the wall. Just going to space these out relatively evenly. Once again, there's probably a way of doing this somehow. <laughs> Wherever you can think you do something automated, there's a way of doing it in Blender, <laughs> which is really cool. Uh, Alt D, Escape. Just move these to the back here. All right, cool. Okay. So now we've got like a bunch of a bunch of buildings. Um, just realised I don't even need my headphones in on, do I? <laughs> Not talking to anyone. <laughs> Bradley, yes. This stream is definitely sponsored by Hawthorne. Just mm -hmm. have a little. There we go. <laughs> um, <clears throat> all right, so. Yeah, I just, I want to, um, what did I want to do? I want to start kind of putting these these buildings together, right? Um, so without too much messing around, let's just kind of do that. So I just want to hide this plane. Oops, not G. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh -oh. Hide. Okay. I'm just going to go up to my top view. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I want to like merge all of these things together. So like I said, we might kind of, I might, uh, I might take this a bit further. Right. But yeah, we're just going to, we're just going to um, kind of do this kind of randomization thing now and then yeah, see how it goes and then we'll see what else we have to do. So if I hit control J, think what are we doing let's go oh, that select no hang on the shift J no control J oh, let's control J there we go oh that just took a while <laughs> all right hang on let's work out what that shortcut is first Uh oh. Control J. Active object is not a. Oh, yes, right. So, what you have to do first is select the object that you want to um, basically. Um, what am I trying to get lost in Garish? Um, <laughs> I want to merge all these parts together, right? So, basically, like you can merge them all together by selecting that one and then you just go around, shift, select. All the rest and then control J there we go and that will just turn that into one kind of mesh now there is a way of still um, of still kind of uh, pulling it apart like breaking it apart later if you need to um, but yeah we'll go there. control J Right, this one, shift, select, okay, and I think the other ones are separate pieces. All right, cool. So now we've got like all these buildings that are just kind of like one shape that we can kind of, yeah, start, you know, kind of spreading around the place. So 
All right, let's try and make like a bit of a city out of this. So let's see how we go here. Um, all right, so I want to make sure everything else is kind of hidden and <clears throat> I could maybe, hmm, I'm just thinking about like, maybe I'll put these all in a collection first. Just right click because this is going to get out of control. So let's move these. Oh, move to collection, new collection, city. I hope I don't break my blender kind of doing this either. So, all right, so I've got my city ones here. So this is cool. All right, so I've got these guys selected. Now let's. Um, I'm just going to Alt D. I think it will be okay if we do this. Alt D, hit Escape. Let's move these. All right, and then what I'm going to do with these selected, I'm just going to hit um, F3. F3 will kind of bring up our search, and we can search for all sorts of different things. So I'm just going to type in random. And we want to bring up this randomized transform. And when I click on this here, basically like then we can start like kind of randomizing these shapes a little bit. So, oops, I think Blender is freaking out. Let's so maybe just type in these. Uh, and let's maybe make that like so basically what we're kind of doing here is like changing the shape of stuff so just seeing how far we can push this here So it's just gonna it's gonna like kind of randomize the the like location that these things are kind of next to each other if that makes sense and let's try this like it's freaking out and I'll show you one thing that we probably don't want to do when I rotate this around is uh, let's maybe make these like they, they might be a bit big these numbers let's make them like 1.5 just gonna kind of mess around with this a little bit <laughs> this is where my my 3d coat is probably um not great because <laughs> i'm there's probably a lot of geometry to be just like it's uh spreading around here but yeah anyway so we kind of rotate back down here right you can see that see like this shape and this shape they're, they're different right so it's really cool so we can make different shapes out of this out of this stuff so um now what I want to kind of do here is if I bring back my plane uh, this one all right let's click on this uh oh hang on I didn't want to do that oh, it doesn't matter anyway oh, nope <laughs> one of my random it doesn't matter anyway let's just make this plane a bit bigger all right 
just so we can see where the ground is on everything. And you can see some of went some of them went off the ground, right? So if I um let's just go back and select all these guys. Uh, F3, that one, randomize, transform. All right, so uh, I, I did the Z 10 meters, so I think if I do that zero, let's hope that will put those all back on the ground. They still move, maybe, maybe it's this one. That may, might make the heights, yeah, okay. One. One was the default, right? Yeah. Cool. Okay. And that's okay. We gotta like, I think that maybe if I make all the, um, if I make all the, like, the origin points like to the bottom of the buildings then it won't do this but whatever we can just go through and kind of like re get them stuck to the ground <laughs> okay but basically this is really really cool right so um you could essentially uh do this so once you've got kind of a good kind of scattering type thing and i guess like we can probably even rotate you know some of this stuff let's try if we do it at like 90 degrees. Oh no, we don't want to do that. Uh, set that back to zero. We can just rotate these things around manually anyway. It's pretty quick. Sorry, didn't show you the cool bit yet, right? <laughs> let's go. Uh, so let's just move these across. Uh, sorry, I just need to keep. Oh, I made this gigantic because we're going to make a city. Right. Let's reselect these. Duh. Duh. Oh, these have all got materials on as well. That's not helping. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> uh, <coughs> excuse me. Um, so if I Alt D these, Alt D. All right, because that one's pretty cool. Hit Escape. Oh, hang on. Alt D. Escape. It's waiting. Loading. Sorry if I'm making laptops crash. Move these ones across. Alright, I'll show you that where this is really cool, right? So you can bring back the randomized transform. And then you've got like a random seed here, and you can just like click through. Right, and that will just like randomize the transformation that it's doing every time. So every time you're going to have a slightly different kind of buildings and stuff, right? Which is super cool. And depending on the parts that you have, you can kind of, yeah, you can keep sort of like doing this. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. So, like, for example, you can grab these, right? And let's say that we want some more kind of like walls and stuff. Let's be like Alt D, Escape. Let's like rotate this guy 90 degrees and the way that you can kind of do this as well so you can just get it like close to being 90 up the top left it'll tell you the the degrees right and then i'll just hold shift and it will start you know transforming that a bit less so right there, go around 90 so once again there's probably some other faster way of doing this Move that. And <clears throat> I don't want to go like 
too crazy here because we've got to reconnect all these bits to the ground. <laughs> But yeah, the more bits and pieces that you kind of like add together. The more the randomized transform will kind of like, yeah, do cool things. Oops. Alt D. And then you can also like, you know, you just transform some of these. Yeah, and you can see you're getting some like weird stuff going on here, but you can you can delete bits, you know, if it's not sort of the way exactly the kind of way you want it or whatever, you can delete bits and pieces, but you might get some really cool shapes and you can break these apart and blah blah blah, so on and so forth. Really cool, right? So yeah, it's it's super, super fun how you can yeah, get all this kind of stuff working. So yeah, once again, like grab some of this stuff here. Might just do one more and then I'll start kind of putting it together. So we just go like uh, Alt D. Escape. Let's move this over here. F3, randomize transform. Uh oh, lagging. <laughs> yeah, but it's just going to kind of keep keep transforming these guys. I'm using pretty heavy geometry here, but like, I mean, you can make it like two hundred. And it would just do like a different a different kind of transformation on that stuff so it's pretty cool so it really helps you quickly kind of build up a city so um yeah so now we can sort of start putting some of this stuff together i think um <clears throat> so yeah we'll do that i'm just going to take a really quick little break and then we'll be we'll be back i'll go a little bit over time because i st started just rambling on at the start for ages didn't i so just give me a second quick 30 second break and I'll be back.
All right, we're back. Sorry about that. Just a quick little bathroom break. Um, so, <clears throat> yeah, like at the moment, this stuff is all. Uh, I'm going to delete these guys. We've got kind of all this geometry going on because of the 3D coat, you know, stuff. So maybe what I would do is like, if I was really going to commit to kind of like making this city, is I might, um, I might kind of. Um, like make some lower res versions of some of this stuff, you know, so that so that it's kind of not too crazy. Because if you do this with fairly, if I just did this with all the bits that I kind of made in Blender, then it'd yeah just be really snappy. And um, yeah, you could easily you could easily keep going with this. I'm just going to make sure that we. Uh oh yeah, we're back live. Okay, cool. Um, <clears throat> So yeah, if I was doing this with like lower res geometry, it, this would be fine, right? But yeah, it's kind of freaking out a bit. So um, I will show you like another little trick you can do and let's see if this will work because this might kind of be helpful too. Um, let's see if we can do a file save as. Right, saving, saving, saving. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> so what I'm going to do here with this building, let's just try, see what we can do. So if I, if I hit um, tab on here, you'll see that like, yeah, it's there's a lot of kind of crazy geometry going on here from 3D code but there is some ways to kind of fix this. So if I go back out tab, all right, let's go back to this little icon here, the, the green three triangles. And if we go down to remesh, we've got this voxel remesh. Um, now I'm gonna try this as like 0 0.5 and <clears throat> sometimes this will blow up the computer. Let's hope not, but let's go voxel remesh see what happens that was pretty good so now if we go back into tab right can you see what happened so basically like it just remeshed the whole thing and made everything nice geometry and you can keep kind of like go back to tab right you can basically let's try like one meter you just keep upping it and it will like it'll reduce the quality of some stuff but probably in some circumstances, like that's okay. Um, you've just, yeah, you just got to see, you know, where you want to go with that stuff. But for these big back things, it might be okay. That one. Yep, so you can kind of go through and just, yeah, and do all that as well. So let's maybe remesh some of these guys too, make it like a 0 0.7. pretty good what else we got this one here let's remesh that guy And I'll see if I can get away with some of these ones as well. Let's 
see if we go 0 0.7. Nah, see that one's not. Let's undo that. So that's pretty good. Zero point two. Yep. And the more you do that. <clears throat> The, the more that this won't kind of lag too much. So anyway, <clears throat> without further ado, let's just start putting this together, right? So now I've got all of these pieces, we can kind of start, you know, just designing the, the layout of things. So if I come up here, this is my original What I might do first, sorry, is just build it around from this like centerpiece. And remember, like, <clears throat> if I go back into Photoshop and I go here, it's like trying to make some of these these kind of shapes, right? Oops, not 3D coat. Blend up. Just gonna put that over there. Yep, so just trying to make some of those kinds of kinds of shapes going on, so oh D Oh, don't rotate it like that. <laughs> uh oh, Blender's freaking out. Because um, what, what's what we could think about is, hang on, while I rotate this, it's hard to do when it's lagging. <laughs> all right, because <clears throat> what I could do is kind of swap all this out for like kind of low res uh, geo that are making in uh, Blender as well. And potentially, like then just swap out the bits that we need to that are kind of like the, the kind of focal uh, parts, which might be a good idea too, which would be pretty simple to do as well. So maybe that's something that we can kind of do for next week. But regardless, we'll spend a bit of time just, just um, working on this.
you go in there. And now we're just basically uh, city planning. <laughs> varying around the, the shapes and sizes a little bit Yeah, so thinking that there could definitely be some better workflows going on here. Because like some of these pieces here, like this, for example, pretty easy just to just to model up in Blender. Hey, right, that's cool. So another little trick I can do here is like Alt D Escape. Then you can hit for mirroring. You can go Command M. Sorry, Control M, and then you can just hit like the X, Y, or Z, and it will mirror it. And then you click. The base, so I can drag this over here. Yay! Yep, and building this up pretty quick. Let's go through and kind of get all these guys sitting on the ground. But yeah, you can build up the complexity pretty quickly. Oh yeah, no, you're right. It might. We oh, should try. No, I'm. I'm in. I am in solid mode. But um, yeah, I could also just try studio with no shadow. No cavity. Hey, that's better too. Oh, yes. Awesome. 
There we go. That's way better. Just do that. <laughs> Just turn off all the cool stuff. All right. Thanks, Nathan. <laughs> yes, we're in Blender. Gaming. Uh, cool. Yeah, that's way better. <clears throat> Should have thought of that earlier. <laughs> So let's just start moving some of these pieces around. We would be honored if you would join us. Oops, do that, undo, yeah, forgot about that when you kind of turn that viewport on with the shadows that kind of makes a pretty big difference. And then, yeah, you just start grabbing all of these pieces and connecting them all up. Hey, undo. My name is just Troll J. Let's merge that together because uh, they're all instances no <laughs> let's not do that Do some stuff like uh, maybe not that one with the columns. Maybe this guy here. <laughs> Can you just start adding some little variations in the ground and if you have it from the top down view then you can just grab these and just move them and you know that they'll stay like kind of on the ground here so Then you can start working on sort of like a layout. <clears throat> yeah, and then getting this into the whoa, into your scene, right? So you can see how you're just gonna start building all of this stuff up. <laughs> Let's 
stop doing that. I remember underneath all this we've got all the you know all those landscapes materials and everything right And just sort of start working out like how all these little bits and pieces kind of connect together. Don't like that shape. Let's get rid of that guy. And later on, like as it goes through, it can be like, oh, we need some stairs there, and you know, this and that, whatever. But <laughs> also remembering that, uh, like, this is, oh, Bradley, when's it going to? Probably like two more minutes. <laughs> um, yeah, I need to wrap up dinner. Um, so remember that th this these buildings are going to be like a, a fair way off in the distance, right? So, so we also don't need to be too kind of precious about these things. all these bits and pieces around also purposely not rotating these all exactly 90 degrees because then we can you know not everything in the city is going to be exactly 90 degrees So once you've got like a whole bunch of stuff, we could even do this like again. Let's try it. <laughs> Let's just see what happens. We may break Blender. I don't want to um, duplicate that main building because I think that one's not going to look so great. Let's try this and go like Alt D. Escape. Let's move it. Sort of thing about another little kind of city bit back here somewhere. And F3, randomized transform. Boom. So then you get all different. It's like yeah so then it's going to just give all different kind of sizes and shapes to this stuff and the more you kind of like yeah the more you kind of randomize and add in bits and pieces you know yeah the more more coolness it'll give <laughs> right but yeah, so you can see that you can really start, you know, kind of building out these, these kind of cities. So yeah, should we try? Should we try and? I should probably should have saved before I clicked on that. 
Let's see if we can get like a little bit of a render. Oh, breaking out, freaking out, breaking blender. <clears throat> yeah, very rough, right? But you get the idea, and then we can start start changing textures and all sorts on these these things. And remember, this is just in the kind of material preview. I'm not gonna. Shall I click on cycles? We'll do it. Let's do it. Hang on. Let's save this first. Oh boy, it's taking a while to save. Alright, we'll turn... <clears throat> Just because I really want to break my computer. <laughs> we'll try turning cycles on. And like I, like I said, there's probably some better, like doing this is a good, you know, once again, like a good learning curve because there's probably some better, better ways we could probably do this, I think. But we'll see how we go. Come on, it's coming, it's doing stuff. <laughs> hey. Anyway, it <laughs> doesn't really look that much better, but <clears throat> yeah. But I mean, like it's, it's getting there already, like it's, it's starting to look a bit more like a city. It just needs a bit of uh, design touches in kind of the layout. How are we going to get that to work? So what I'll probably do next week is um, turn back all the, on the, all the landscape stuff because we've got some hills and rises and all that kind of thing. So we need to get all those, all of the geo to kind of like sit on the ground and stuff, right? And, um, and then start kind of like designing all of that. So um, yeah, yep. But yeah. Um, it's it's kind of getting there so yeah we'll just keep keep plugging away with it but you can imagine as we go through and get all these things all fleshed out and uh blocked out in um in blender um yeah it's going to start really coming together and obviously like i'm going you know because we're in the stream doing things very very slowly right so hopefully you guys can kind of follow along and stuff but um yeah we'll just keep plugging away and next week maybe getting into like some vegetation um i think that maybe we'll see, yeah I'll, I'll maybe do a couple of like tests during the week as well maybe just seeing about getting some low res geometry in here but we'll, we'll see how that goes as well so yeah other than that i think that's it for the stream it's uh been good chatting with you guys for a couple of hours in the afternoon and we'll see you guys next week okay catch up.